today on Be Something Wonderful. Amazing. Manifesting in miracles just happen when you go vertical. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. Our second big video here from South Africa. This comes from an early morning session that I had with a client that, that she said she's been binge watching uh, the videos and the channel and, and that she just recently is moving into a, a new house with her husband that they manifested. And, and, but it wasn't about manifesting that house. She's a pretty powerful creator. It was about some of the realizations that she had as, as she found a ring that her husband gave her, who was then her, her, just her boyfriend, right, five years ago. And, and this ring was important to her, but she, believes it, she believed up until she found it, while well, she was moving things, right, uh, up until she found it during her move, right, that was important to her. She thought she lost. She had this box of things that, she, that were important to her, and she knew exactly what was in that box. The ring should have been there, but she had lost that a few years ago. And as she was moving things, and, 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 and you know, when you're moving things, you get sentimental, she says, you know, you're looking through things, and she, she just had a thought about that ring. Just not a, not a neat, not a, um, just a nice thought, like oh, it would be nice to have that. And as she was moving, as she was going through that thing, that, that box that she kept of things important to her, she opened up, she couldn't believe it. She goes, Tom, I almost, my mouth dropped to the floor. I, I called my husband over and there was the ring in that box. She goes, now I know what you mean when you say go with going vertical. She goes, I, had, I mean, I had a complete shift in realities, a, key, a complete shift in perception. I want to unpack this today and more because we talked about this and, we, and, and I was really excited. I've been working on this, this lesson today in between the activities that are going on here in South Africa to get this message out to you. So she goes, I'm another binge watcher of your, of your channel. It's amazing. Manifesting miracles just happens when you go vertical. This is what she said, right? Those were her words. It's amazing. I love this. Manifesting in miracles just happen when you go vertical. Because remember, we already, the kingdom is yours. So manifesting is really, you're not really manifesting or creating anything. You're just seeing and perceiving more of, who, of, of the reality that you are right? More of all that is, more of that your oneness with God in creation, right? Because creation's finished. Everything that you want is within you. So every time you see or perceive reality the way you would like it to be, you're performing a miracle and going vertical. That's some of the insights that we had yesterday, right? Every time you see it the way you would like to see it or the way you would have liked it to gone, if you're talking about a memory or a past event, when we talk about the idea of revising events or revision, Neville Goddard's revision, you're, perform you're going vertical. You're performing a miracle. That's what manifesting in miracles are all about. Course in Miracles talks about this, and I want to talk about that today. Every time you see reality through the eyes of love versus non-love, through the eyes of love versus frustration, through the eyes of love versus hate, through the eyes of love versus disappointment, through the eyes of love instead of wanting, through the eyes of love instead of needing something, you go vertical. This is some of the stuff we talked about. So I wanna, I wanna hit this like we never have before. Here's what A Course in Miracles says. They use the idea of horizontal and vertical here. The miracle entails a sudden shift from horizontal to vertical perception. Remember yesterday, in yesterday's video, we're talking about that client that, that now I've done a, a second video on his manifestations. This was on the building, the ideal building for him to avoid uh, paying a big tax bill on a building that he sold. He found another one to reinvest in. And remember, I said, you're not perceiving reality. Rather, you're perceiving is reality, your experience of reality. There's the vertical right? You're, you're perceiving, he, took, he, he talked about taking a mental snapshot of his desired end. And then as you do that, that's the reality you move to. That's the parallel reality or the, or the lifeline you move to. But what, what's really happening is you're having a shift in perception. You're going from perceiving reality as horizontal 
linear and just in this one slide of reality, that 0.0001%, to seeing more of who you are, more of that unseen. Well, of course, a miracle says that. A miracle entails a sudden shift from horizontal to vertical perception, right? That's what synchronicities are. Synchronicities are the unseen becoming seen. There's no apparent cause, right? The cause is because the cause is you. The cause is your perceiving. That's all reality is. The unseen becomes seen where cause equals effect, giving equals receiving. That you're seeing more of that unity, right? That's why everything's connected. Everything's one, right? A miracle is you becoming more aware of your true nature and unlimited potential as that I am that I am, right? Remember, time is irrelevant other than as a tool for you to experience and become more aware of all that you are. Of that all realities are within you, that everything you want is already within you through your focus and attention, through your assumptions and what you assume and believe to be true. And you get to decide that in every moment. You're seeing more of who you are. That's powerful. So this is what Jesus says, right? In John 14, 6, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. That's the vertical experience. No one comes to the Father except through me. The idea of the vertical, going to the Father, that total beingness, all that is, right? I am is the door. It's your I am. You're one with the great I am. You're one with God, right? I and the Father are one, but the Father is greater than I. And that happens with this vertical perception in this now moment. Here's the seen reality, the 0.0001%. There you are, having that linear experience, having that horizontal perception. So how do miracles happen? How do manifestations happen? They happen when you have that shift suddenly to a vertical perception right, to that vertical perception, going from a horizontal perception to a vertical perception, right? And, and this is what um, A Course in Miracles says about it. And remember, it's a channel text, right? This is Jesus talking in A Course in Miracles, right? The statement is more meaningful in terms of vertical rather than a, a horizontal axis. The, this statement that no one comes to the Father except through me, except through Jesus, that I am, and Jesus says that statement is more meaningful in terms of vertical rather than a horizontal axis. See this, guys? That's how you go to the Father, by going this way, not by focusing on this less than 0.1%, by, by seeing more of who you are. And this is what uh, Course in Miracles says. Remember, Jesus talking. You stand below me and I stand below God. In, in the process of rising up, I am higher because without me, I am, without your I am, the distance between God and man would be too great for you to encompass. Without you knowing that you are that I am, that I am that I am, the distance would be too great. Jesus makes a good point here in A Course in Miracles, right? Remember, manifesting is not about creating anything or getting anything. Do you see it? Creation is finished. So it's not about creating anything. Neville Goddard says that. It's not about getting anything. It is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. You already have it. Luke 12.32 says that. The kingdom is yours. It's about remembering your unity and oneness with God, with all that is, as a creator made in God's image. It's remembering that you are that I am, that you're one with that I am. Except ye become as little children means that unless you fully recognize your complete dependence on God, you cannot know the real power of the Son in his true relationship with the Father. A Course in Miracles. I love this because now A Course in Miracles is explaining what that, what that when it says be like little children, what that really means, right? Children, are the, children believe they are blessed. They believe, that they, they believe in their imagination. They believe that, that the kingdom's here. They believe if they ask, it's already theirs. They believe that their parents will take care of them, right? Well, this is the same thing. That's what we mean. Children have complete conviction in what they want. That's what we're talking about. Complete conviction or dependence on God means you're one with God, that God looks out for his children, that he looks at them all as equal, that you already have the kingdom, right? It's complete dependence on your conviction as that I am. Complete com dependence on that, that, it's complete conviction, absolute conviction on your power to be, do, or have whatever you want. That's what that means there. Of Course in Miracles breaks it down beautifully here. You're complete dependent on God. You cannot know the real power of the Son in his true relationship with the Father without knowing that. That's powerful. 
So A Course in Miracles goes on to say, a sense of separation from God is the only lack you really need to correct. We've talked about this, right? We can talk about lack and need in all sorts of levels of the horizontal experience. But what does it really mean? It means to go vertical and understand that you are one with that unity. You're one with everything. A sense of separation from God is the only lack you really need to correct. This sense of separation would never have arisen if you had not distorted your perception of truth and had this, had this thus perceived yourself as lacking. Again, A Course in Miracles is talking about this shift in perception. Shifting from that perception that you're lacking or needing something to the, percep to the perception, the vertical perception, that everything's already yours. That's what manifesting is about. That's what, that's what miracles are about, is knowing more of that, that an unseen reality that you are. Right? Lack implies that you would be better off in a state somehow different from the one you are in now. Needs arise only when you deprive yourself. A Course in Miracles, you can only deprive yourself. I am that I am. You are all of it. You can only think that you're not. Right? Wow. Lack implies you would be better off than somehow different than you are now. Right? You can't be any more than you are. No, you can't be any more than God. Right? It's all yours. The kingdom is yours. That was a powerful um, unpacking we did today in that session. And her finding that ring, she really gets it now. That that's what it means. It just dawned to her. That's what it means to go vertical. It's a complete reality shift, right, into that new, uh, what you believe, that new horizontal, horizontal experience of reality by going vertical. That's what we mean by going vertical, by seeing more, by being open to that, right? She was open to miracles. She, she believes in it. She knows she's a powerful manifester. She just had that thought of that, of that ring that was important to her. And there it is. And she said, Tom, I know what was in that box, and I know I lost that ring. But now, but, 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 but of course, she went vertical, she moved, she shifted reality, she shifted perception, a radical shift of perception. What A Course in Miracles even talks about that idea, moving from that horizontal uh, perception to that vertical perception of reality. That's amazing. Manifesting miracles just happens when you go vertical. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, thank you. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for liking and sharing and commenting on the channel. Thank you for being part of our Facebook group, the Be Something Wonderful Ambassadors at facebook.com slash groups slash Be Something Wonderful. You can also find us on Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen. You can join our membership channel. There's a link below. Thank you for joining. And um, there'll be more content coming on that channel as well as a live stream, another live stream on the membership channel. And, all, and guys, if all that information and more is on our, our website at tomcaron.com or be something wonderful.com. Creators, until next time, this is Tom with Be Something Wonderful here in South Africa with great love, with great light and infinite gratitude. We'll see you soon.